Hey makeup geeks, I have a really fun tutorial for you guys today. I wore this makeup the other day at work and the girls here were like, you have to take a tutorial on this one. I used the new foiled shadows and this is the combination I have. It's the sage green with the purple. I freaking love this look. I think this may be one of my new go-to looks. I'm gonna wear it this weekend as well. This is my second or third time I've done this look, <laughs> just so you know. And do you guys notice my hair today? I don't know, it's hard to tell in camera because it looks really dark, but in person my hair is bright purple. It, I don't know, let me see if I can get in the light. Can you guys kind of see it? I'll do pictures for you. Oh, there we go. Wait, wait for it. But I was in the hair chair yesterday. My girl Amanda. Hi, Amanda. Today, this video has a lot of shout outs in it, just so you know. Um, but I was in there for eight hours because you guys know I wear extensions because I've lost a lot of hair too. And but we, she was trying to lift the color from part of my hair to get the purple to be really bright. Poor thing. She's pregnant too. And she's like, you know, she has her little belly and her baby's due pretty soon. And she's like trying to get my hair done. We spent the whole day together. So this is kind of what it turned out like because I want something different I just wanted I don't know I get bored with my hair and I don't want to really cut it so I'm like well that means I have to do something with colors let's do purple brighter than what I've been wearing lately so enough blabbing on that let's get started on our ultraviolet nights look show you guys you guys are asking for me to demonstrate the Becca concealer so I'm gonna try it today it's actually really good um, consistency wise but the color I'll show you guys so I use um, I'm working on with makeup geek but there's also an Eve Pearl one that I use actually let me do it in this camera do you see how the Eve Pearl one is a little bit darker than my skin and it's more orangey color the Becca ones are a little bit more yellow so yellow still will hide dark circles if you don't have them that bad but you guys can see like my eye bags are no joke they need some heavy-duty stuff <laughs> so let me show you guys I did a little bit on this side this is the Becca one this is yellow and it does hide it the texture is a little bit thicker than what I'd like but it's not bad it still has that gel like consistency so as so you guys can see it still hides it but once I put the foundation on I feel like um, it's still going to show a little bit of gray tone in here. I like the more orangey color so I'm going to use the Eve Pearl. Okay so got the concealer on. Okay now my foundation you guys know I'm die hard Estee Lauder double wear foundation. I think it's the best. It's this one right here has a matte finish. I'm wearing the color 1W2 because I did not spray tan today. I'm rocking the pasty. Rocking the natural. So I'm gonna put a little bit on here. And what I like to do, just because it is a really matte finish, you guys, I always mix my foundation. And so the one I'm actually mixing it with right now is amazing when I'm not on camera, because on camera I need something really matte, because otherwise it'll look really greasy on camera. But in everyday life, this one works really, really good, the Laura Mercier Silk Cream Foundation. Um, Mariella, she does our customer service. She's been a friend for a while. She recommended this one. Hi, Mariella. <laughs> it's amazing you guys have my beauty blender it's clean i promise it looks dirty but i just washed it <laughs> what i do is i wash it i wet it squeeze out the excess so it's really soft and squishy and then i'm just going to dab on the foundation like this okay then i put a little bit of foundation on the neck you guys i put it up here at the top i'm just going to use the silk cream one because i don't care if my neck is shiny to be honest <laughs> um, and then i take the beauty blender and I start to blend it downwards. The reason I do this is so that way I don't get that harsh line where it looks like your face and your neck is a different color and it's pretty much impossible to put on foundation and not look like you, like it's gonna match your skin exactly to a T. So that's why I always like to blend it down the neck just a little bit, not a ton, just kind of up here and you feather it down. So that way, again, no harsh lines. Okay, now I'm gonna set it with some powder. I take a flat sponge like this. I'm gonna use the Maybelline uh, Dream Wonder Powder. It is my favorite, it's talc free. You can get it at the drugstore. It's inexpensive, it works amazing. Cannot talk enough about this powder. Just trust me, you guys get it. <laughs> We're gonna put this just on my T-zone pretty much. Well, most of it, I'll show you guys. Okay, so you know I do the forehead because that gets kind of oily. And then I set my concealer here under the eyes. Do you see how I'm doing it all in the center of my face? Most of the powder. And then I pick up just a little bit more what's with what's left on my sponge. Then I put it on the rest of my face, but I don't want a ton of it. I just want enough to where it sets everything, but there's not a thick layer on. 
Okay, while we're on the face, I'm also just do the contouring. Usually I do it later, but um, if you have fair skin, Barcelona Beach works amazing for contour, you guys. And yes, I'm working on contour powders because it's cool tone, but do you see how light it is? So it gives a very natural looking contour. So take your angled stippling brush, some of the shadow, and what we're going to do is just put it under the cheekbone like this and I stop about halfway. I don't come down any further because then it starts looking like you have a beard. Let me show you on this side so you guys can see. Okay, so put it right here. And if you need to blend it in, you can. Do you guys see how it gives you a natural contour look? I have cheekbones now, it's amazing. <laughs> All right, blush, hold on, let me grab my blushes. I'm gonna use the Makeup Geek um, Blush and Spellbound. It's a beautiful matte finish, kind of muted pink color. It's really pretty. So take some of that on the same brush. We're just going to put it just slightly above the contour. Just want a little bit of color, not a lot. Leave the top of your cheekbones blank because that's where we're gonna do the highlight later. I'm gonna prime my lids now. Let's do the eyes. I'm gonna use the MAC Paint Only Paint Pot. My go-to favorite. I've used this for years. Just put a light layer of that all over the lid and up to the brow. Okay, now I'm gonna fill in the brows. I'm gonna use the Rimmel Eye Pencil because it's really inexpensive. This is the color Hazel. If you have a darker skin than me, you can use the dark brown one. So I'm just gonna do short strokes under the brows to create a nice crisp line. Okay, for the eyes, I'm going to take my Masquerade Foiled Shadow. It is a new one. I love it. It's a beautiful purple. I'm going to take the Makeup Geek Outer V brush. And to use the foiled shadows, you guys, you want brushes that are stiff to pick it up because it's a highly um, dense eyeshadow. That's what gives it that really strong shine. It has a lot of oil in it. So what you want to do if you're using um, the Outer V brush, kind of swirl it in there to pick up the color. So it kind of scrapes off a little bit, if that makes sense. Okay, what we're going to do is put this on the outer part of the eye, just out here. And then I'm also gonna put some on the inner part of the eye. Okay, so you guys see how I left the center blank just like this and the crease is blank? Make sure you stay under the crease. I like how it looks really crazy right now, just so you know. Okay, I'm going to go in with Barcelona Beach and I'm going to switch to just the plain crease brush. We're going to blend out this before packing the lid on. So just put this all in the crease doing windshield wiper motions just like this okay i was gonna say for the um crease color if you guys have darker skin than me if you're medium skin i would use latte if you have chocolate skin i would say to use cocoa bear in the crease okay wipe off that same brush choose a color that's close to your skin and is matte finish i'm gonna use beaches and cream Every time I use this now, I think of, I call my YouTube husband, Manny. Hi, Manny. <laughs> he always uses beaches and cream. So every time I pick it up now, I think of him. I'm just doing shout outs to everyone today in this video, aren't I? I feel like it's shout out day. I'm going to put this in the inner part of my eye and up under the brow to kind of soften all of this out. Okay, once all of that is done, now you can switch to a flat, stiff brush. I like the MAC 239, or you can even use a lip brush if you want. I'm going to go in with a new foil shadow called Charm. Let me show you guys a swatch of it. Do you see how it's a beautiful silver color, but it has a green undertone to it? So it's almost like a sage green color. I love this one because it's so different. So I'm going to, again, when you pick up the shadow, you kind of want to swipe the brush like this to pick up some of it because you need to scrape a little bit of it off, if that makes sense. Okay, we're going to... Pat this just on the center of the lid and blend it over into the purple. Isn't that such a cool combo, you guys? I love that so much. Okay, now what we're going to do, hold on, let me grab a purple eyeliner. Doesn't matter which one, we're just gonna use this as a base. We use the Estee Lauder one. And I'm going to put this under the lower lash line just as a base. Okay, before I finish up the lower lash line, take your gel liner. I'm going to use the Makeup Geek Immortal one. It's a really good black one. We're going to line the waterline. So pull it down and just run this inside. And then also do the upper um, lash line. Just pull them up and kind of run that in there. Okay, now take a little bit more. And what I'm going to do, hold on, I need a mirror. I cannot see right now. <laughs> We're going to put it on the upper lash line starting halfway and then just bringing it up a little bit. I don't want to wing. I just kind of want to smudge it because we're going to go over it with another color in a second. 
Okay, now we can go to a Makeup Geek pencil brush. I know mine has a wooden handle. This is a lab sample one. It's really old. <laughs> All my regular ones are dirty. I'm sorry. I didn't feel like washing them this morning. Um, Drama Queen. It's a really pretty dark shimmery purple. We're going to smudge this on top of that liner we just put down. Sorry again, I need my mirror. You're going to put this right on top of the liner just to kind of smudge it out a little bit and bring it up just a teeny bit on the outer part of the eye, right out here. Pick up some more, now we're gonna smudge it under the lower lash line. Okay, now we can clean up under the eyes. I'm gonna use the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer, and I use the number 20, which is sand, and all I'm going to do is put a streak like this. This is why I'm waiting to do the cheek highlighter. I'll show you in a second. So put that under there. Take a fluffy dome brush. This is the number 105 airbrush by It Cosmetics. It's a nice, soft, fluffy one. So all I'm gonna do is just sweep this out. Same brush, wipe it off really well. I just have like a towel that I use on my lap. And what you wanna do is grab an eyeshadow or a pressed powder that's a few shades lighter than me. And for me, you ready for it? It's white lies. <laughs> if you have medium skin, go with um, probably beaches and cream. If you have darker skin, I would do like um, creme brulee. That would be better. Just something that's obviously lighter than you. I'm going to take that brush, really soft, and I'm going to highlight under here and put on the tops of my cheekbones just to give me almost like a highlighting effect and then we'll put our um, highlighter on next. But do you see how it kind of whitens this part here? I like using powder versus cream, just me personally, because I feel like it's more foolproof and I don't have to worry about messing up or blending as much, I just kind of pat it on. Okay, I'm gonna do my mascara and then we'll do our cheek highlighter. I'm gonna use a new one today that Nicola keeps telling me to use. She's like, use this roller lash. It's by Benefit, I haven't used it yet, I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna try it on camera for you guys. Usually I'm not a fan, let me show you the wand. Do you see how it's kind of a plasticky wand and it's bent? I'm usually not a fan of plastic ones, but I'm gonna give it a shot, Nicola, and you can let me know if my lashes look any better. She said you're supposed to roll it like this or you can just sweep it on. But she tried it this morning, her lashes looked really thick, so that is pretty good, actually. All right, good job, Nicola. All right, now we can do the highlighting, you guys. Let me grab my cheek highlighter brush. I'm gonna use the Hourglass one in Luminous Light. And we're going to put this here on top of the cheekbones. Okay, for the lips, I wanna do kind of a rosy nude color, if that makes sense. I'm gonna use the NYX Lip Liner in Mauve, and we're just gonna line the lips. Okay, I'm gonna feather in the lips just a little bit on the outer part here. Okay, once those are lined, I'm gonna use the Estee Lauder Pure Color Envy Lipstick number 120. This is the color Desirable. And it's a nice kind of rosy soft pink color. And there you go, you have your ultraviolet look. I'm gonna take my hairpin out, and it kinda goes with my hair. I feel like I'm all in purple today, the lady of purple. <laughs> Anyways, you guys, thanks for watching. I have fun with this look. I really like the combination of that sage green with the purple. I'm gonna do more looks with this one, the color Charmed. Oh my gosh, you guys, when you pair it up with like Stealth, that gray color in the crease, you put Cupcake um, just above that and blend it out. It's such a gorgeous neutral eye, but it has a touch of color because it has the green on there. I love this shadow so much. I can't wait for you guys to try out the new foil shadow. So thanks for watching, you guys. Don't forget to watch my other videos, subscribe to my channel, all that great stuff. Click on the link below. Have fun with your makeup, you guys, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.